welcome. Thanks for joining me tonight. It's Body Beautiful Night, and tonight's topic is skin. I picked this topic because I've had skin issues my whole life, and I wanted to get the, the opportunity to look at the energy of what's going on with the skin. So I have a really great meditation planned for us tonight. We're going to look at three different segments or sections for this meditation. And the first one is going to be our liver, because our liver governs our skin. So we're going to clean out our liver first. Then we're going to address something called the pain sheath. And I wanted to tell you what the pain sheath was before we work on it so that you have an idea of what you're doing. The pain sheath is a layer of energy that sits right on top of your skin. And it um, can uh, hold energies in it. And so it can hold pain, but it's, it's actually there to... I'm trying to think of how to explain this, um, to keep energy in the body and keep energy out of the body, if that makes sense. It's almost like a film. So um, we're going to be healing that in the symbol of a rose tonight. And then the last part is our actual skin. We're going to heal our skin. But I wanted to cover a whole lot of territory tonight. And if you think about it in a 30-minute meditation with three topics, that's really only about six six minutes per topic. So this meditation will move along pretty quickly, but let's get started. Go ahead and close your eyes and bring your awareness right into the center of your head. Imagine that you're calling the edge of your aura in close to your body. And you're going to want to tuck it into a grounding cord. So let's go ahead and create a brand new grounding cord. At the base of your spine, you're going to draw a line of energy from the base of your spine all the way to the center of the planet. And in your mind, devise a way to anchor that line of energy into the center of the planet and also attach it at the base of your spine. And this is going to be your grounding cord for the meditation in which you can send all kinds of foreign energy down it. And the center of the planet will absorb those foreign energies and recycle them. So this is the energy tool we're going to be using tonight for our meditation. Go ahead and test your grounding cord by letting go of today's energy, whatever energy you're ready to let go of, whether it was work energy or school, errands, projects. Let's test out that new grounding cord and release that energy. And go ahead and let yourself get out of responsibility for the next 30 minutes. Look around your body, your aura, and if you feel any responsibility energy, send it down your grounding cord. And let's come into present time. Let go of any energy out of your aura that's keeping you in past time or making your mind think back to whatever happened today. Just let go of that energy so you can be right in present time. Good. Now, we're going to do three parts for this meditation. And the first part is we're going to take a look at the energy of the liver. So using the symbol of a rose with your eyes closed, look out in front of you and imagine a big white movie screen. And you're going to create the image of a rose out on your movie screen. With the postulate as you're creating it that this rose represents the energy of your liver. And then you're going to put a grounding cord underneath the stem of the rose so that this rose is grounded to the center of the planet. And 
and say hello to the energy of your liver. Take a look and see if you can find any bright, lively colors in there. If not, if you see darker, heavier colors, you can go ahead and start releasing those. And I'm going to walk you through a couple of things that you can look at specifically to clean out of your liver. And the first one is the energy of medications. Let all that medication energy in the rose just ground into the grounding cord and into the center of the planet. And then the next energy to look for in the liver would be any um, energy from alcohol. And you might notice as you're grounding the energy from medications and alcohol that emotions may be coming out of your liver. Say hello to those emotions and let them ground down the grounding cord. And then go ahead and clear your liver of any street drugs, if you've ever done street drugs. And next, food allergies. Ground any energy from food allergies that gets in your liver. And then environmental toxins. You might take a look at your liver and ask it how it's doing and listen for the answer. See if your liver wants anything from you.
Now go ahead and create a big gold sun above the rose that you're using for your liver and bring that gold sun through the rose and make sure that the rose is completely filled with gold. You can let the excess gold run down the grounding cord on the rose. And when the rose is completely full of gold, we're going to blow it up and let go of it. So you can imagine putting a stick of dynamite under the rose, lighting the fuse and blowing it up. Good. Now create a gold sun above your own head and fill yourself in with a big gold sun. Go ahead and create a brand new rose out on your reading screen. And this rose is going to represent your pain sheath. Create a grounding cord on the stem of that rose and ground it to the center of the planet. And go ahead and just start to ground any uh, heavier, darker colors if you find any in this pain sheath rose. And I'd like you to look at the rose and see what kind of energy is in the pain sheath. Let's go ahead and start by grounding pain out of the pain sheath. So take a look at the rose and when I say pain, look at what color lights up in the rose for pain and start to release that down the grounding cord. Remember, when you're grounding pain out, you want to do it from a space of neutrality so you don't become the effect of that pain. So you want to make sure that you have your focus of attention in the center of your head, behind your eyes, in your sixth chakra where you have your neutrality. Go ahead and ask your pain sheath, what energies are you resisting in the pain sheath? As you find out what energies you're resisting, go ahead and ground them out of the rose. What part of the body does your pain sheath talk to? Go ahead and ask your pain sheath what energies are laying on top of your skin. and go ahead and ground them.
and if I didn't say it, ground the energies that are laying on top of your skin. Go ahead and ask your pain sheath if there are any energies that you need to be aware of that are affecting your skin. Go ahead and ground those energies. Create a great big gold sun above the rose for your pain sheath. And fill that rose in with gold. Let the excess gold run down the grounding cord. And when that rose is completely full of gold, go ahead and create another stick of dynamite, put it under that rose and blow it up. Create a gold sun above your own head and fill yourself in. We're going to create one more rose and as you create this rose, you can have the postulate that this rose represents your skin. Ground that rose to the center of the planet. And just take a look at what the energy looks like to start with. And you can go ahead and clear any darker energies that you find. We're going to start with grounding genetic issues out of your skin like eczema, psoriasis. Say hello to any genetic issues you have with your skin. And ground that energy. you might say hello to and notice which of your family lines that came from, your father's side or your mother's side. Next, we're going to ground um, I, I actually wrote out a number of these, so let me tell you all of them and you can start grounding them. Acne, warts, freckles, moles, tags, and rashes. Once again, you're clearing acne, warts, freckles, moles, tags, and rashes. Just clear the energy of them.
You might say hello to the judgment that's also coming out as you ground these things and release the judgment down your grounding cord. Next, we're going to ground food allergies affecting the skin. Listen to your body carefully when it tells you what it's allergic to as you ground the food allergies out. And notice what it does to your skin. Next, go ahead and ground any scars that you have and say hello to any medical energy left in the scars and ground that out. If they're um, bigger or deep scars, you might also say hello to any trauma coming out as you ground the scars. Go ahead and ground your hair follicles in your skin. Every hair follicle. And notice what comes out of your hair follicles. Go ahead and ground your wrinkles in your skin and see what comes out of wrinkles. Ground the pigment of your skin.
And last, go ahead and ground the circulation of your skin. Now you're going to create a great big gold sun above the rose that you're using for your skin and fill that rose in completely with gold. And then go ahead and create another stick of dynamite under this rose and blow it up. Now create a great big gold sun above your own head and start to bring that gold sun into every cell of your skin. All the way under your toes, the heels of your feet, behind your ears, your earlobes, your eyelids, Great. When you're all filled up, you can come on out of trance. All right. Good job. Just going to give you a moment to let that healing settle in. Wow. You know what I see a lot of is forgiveness that you all are forgiving yourselves and forgiving your skin. And that's so great because if you think about how hard we are on our bodies, um, I mean that in the sense of criticism of our bodies. I think that's pretty, pretty great that I see a lot of forgiveness going on in the sanctuary right now. That's very cool. Well, we have two very busy weeks coming up, so I'm just going to give you the heads up on what's what's around the corner. Um, in two nights on Thursday, we have an acceptance healing in the sanctuary. And then the very next night, we have our erasure event. And if you don't know what the erasure event is, it is a night where the healers from my Transmedium Healing Clinic come and they do a technique called erasing energy. And what that does is it eliminates low-level competition, control, and destroy energies. So we have a night in the sanctuary where we just work on destroy energies and clear them out. You are welcome to come. It's free. You are welcome to invite your friends, and it's free for them too. The only thing is that everybody has to register. You have to be in the webinar in order to receive the healing. So I have the mailers going out and they have that link, the free registration link on them if you want to join us uh, this this Friday night. It's only a couple of nights away. So I would love to see you in that. It's a great experience and a, and a wonderful healing. So please do come. And then the next week we have, on Tuesday we have, I've rescheduled the personal constitution class one on your agreement with your body. We had such terrible technical problems the first night. I am going to go ahead and re-record it. And it's open for anybody that would like to take it. Those of you that took it before are invited to come back for free. And those of you that didn't get a chance to take it, I highly recommend it. We just did personal constitution um, class two last week. And I have to tell you, after I taught the class, I sat down and I listened to the class back, the whole class and did the exercises myself. And I have to say, I got an amazing healing on my agreement with Supreme Being. And I don't usually talk to you guys about the classes that I teach, probably because it, 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 
I just don't think about it. But this particular class was really great. And I, I really uh, feel very good about these three classes, the personal constitution classes, your agreement with your body, your agreement with supreme being, and then your agreement with yourself to accomplish your spiritual goals. So we have the agreement with the body coming up on Tuesday, and then later in November will be the class three on your agreements to achieve your spiritual goals. That was a mouthful. <laughs> All right. And then next Friday, we have Female Fridays, and that is giving to yourself. So that's going to be a 30-minute meditation on giving to yourself. So I think I've covered everything that I wanted to talk to you about tonight. Again, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that. Got my eyes on you. I hope you have a lovely evening tonight, and I will see you in two nights on Thursday for the acceptance healing. All right. Have a great night. Bye-bye.